All right, good evening everyone. My apologies for not doing any YouTube videos in the last few, in the last week or last week or two or so. Um, right now, just dealing with some things, but thankfully though, um, everything's already getting better. Everything, everything's doing all right, and it's nothing bad or anything like that. But just, hand, I'm just handling my own business, but everything's I'm doing all right for right now. Um, my apologies if I haven't made any videos lately, but I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe, and making sure to wear a mask because it's hectic with the new cases arriving especially coming for young people as well people my own age so please wear a mask just because just because you're going out please still wear a mask your health has to matter first all right um so far though thankfully i've already um seen love and life and, and it seems like it's pretty good so far even though there has been some even though it didn't start out as great as it was but hopefully it does get better and right now, um, love in between, it's also getting pretty good as well, and hopefully it all ends very well. And I've already, um, starting to catch up with We Are All Alone. Um, I'll let you guys know in the end though, and then, um, finally, um, finally got the chance to, um, I'm still gonna rewatch everything from the Bad Kids, because it's really good drama, and... At the end, though, it's 12 episodes, but it's a really great drama, and I'm gonna do a mid-year, I'm gonna do a mid-year evaluation, and then let you guys know my two cents on the dramas that I've seen so far. Just, um, I'm only gonna name the dramas that I've watched and let you guys know about it, but, and then I'll give you guys a rating, um, it's gonna be based out of 10, so please be on the lookout for that. And overall, though, um, I'm doing all right. Um, you know, just going to change this, but I got a new laptop now. I have two laptops now. Um, yeah, everything's going good, especially hearing so many things about Shane Dawson, Jenny Sixteen, Jeffrey Star. It's just like it's crazy what's going on. And I'm gonna make um, another announcement on the Cala Luna trial. It's gonna be in Spanish. If you guys. Um, for those who do speak Spanish, I will talk about it in the last few minutes of the video. But anyway, um, this week though, uh, there's a new drama that's coming out called Love Love Me, Don't Think Too Much, which starts Chen Jianbin and Li Yi Tong. And it definitely talks about age differences and the man who just wants to be loved, not just someone for his own money. And and so far, it's seven episodes so far, and it seems like it seems a little mixed so far. But let's see how this drama goes, and I definitely like them both though, and I know it's a lot, it's unusual because we're so used to the handsome CEO and all this, but sometimes we have to like to open our minds, but also realize if it's made well or not. And I definitely feel like it's important to explore dramas that do talk about age differences, talk about other things. I know there was a drama that was aired six to four years ago, it's called Na Zhang Fu about a young woman who's married to an older man and there's also an order called Xiao Zhang Fu which, um, which um, talks about an older woman married to a much younger man um, it's definitely it's been out for like both um, for six between six to four years um, Da Zhang Fu is like in 2014 and Xiao Zhang Fu is in 2016 Though, um, you guys want to go check them out to see, because they, they've done this before, so let's see how this one goes. And also, um, The Inside Man, um, it's also been out, I haven't had a chance to watch it though, but I've already seen that, it doesn't seem, like, it sounds very mixed. So, let's see how this one goes. Um, I did see the last episode of Trident though, and I definitely loved it, like, the drama, but I wasn't fully fan of the ending though. And it wasn't what I fully wished for, but overall, though, it definitely wasn't bad or anything like that. But it's just the ending I wasn't a full fan of, but that's just my opinion. And another drama that I've also um, saw finished was Sai Sheng Feng Yunji. And I think even though, like, I would have liked it if the ending, though, um, finished, like, was more at a faster pace, but... Overall, though, I definitely like this drama as well. Um, it's really good. It, if you guys are a fan of historical dramas, um, please check that one out. It's called Sai Sheng Feng Yunji. Um, for those um, who want to know, it starts stars Han Dong, who was also in this year's Under the Power. It also stars Shi Fan Shi, 
Um, she's also in A Little Me Reunion and The Legend of Miyue. Check that out. Um, it definitely has Lili Chun, Liu Peichi, Sarin Sarina, and definitely has a really good cast around that one. Um, I'm also um, gonna rewatch episodes of Bad Kids. It's only 12 of those episodes, but it's really good and definitely intense, very well acted, definitely. Definitely different from what we usually get used to watching, and especially in C dramas. Um, definitely, it's different, but it's also a drama where where you use your mind, and it's, and it's a very complex drama. It definitely talks about a lot of stuff that's gonna be very, very. It's gonna be a lot intense, though. And hey, not every. Hey, if you are not a fan of this genre, I understand though, and at the end of the day though, hey, everybody has their different picks. I like dramas that are, that have a lot of maturity, a lot of knowledge, and a lot of logic to pick up, and it is different from the novel, um, which I haven't read yet, but overall though, I'll give you guys my, re my reviews at the end, um, probably around the 30th, please be on the lookout for that, and I might do um, a tribute to Phyllis Hyman and I might see if I can do a video on Sue Ellen Ewing which is a character I've been so fascinated with recently um, especially watching stuff from Dallas especially from the original show from 7891 and we'll see if I can give you guys a little take on Sue Ellen Ewing and also Phyllis Hyman I'm going to talk about her as well and it's also like this week has been crazy drama so far with the Jenny 69 apology which I'll be honest with you I just I didn't buy fully into it and I already gave my two cents in regards to what Jenny 69 has said and done recently and please check out that video um, if you guys want to see how I feel especially if someone who has autism as myself and also um, there's a lot of like past footage from Shane Dawson's fault which kind of shows a lot of pet a lot of pedophilic behavior then Especially like, I can't even describe what to say, but the fact he almost wanted to, he played with himself in a picture of Willow Smith, which kind of grossed me out a bit. No, it grossed me out a lot. It grossed me out a lot. And I think this is just like, I'm like, this needs to be investigated. And, and I think for me though, as someone who used to watching Dawson's videos up until 2017 when I saw so much rape so much shit that he's done I'm like you know what I'm through with him I'm gonna find like there's no need to be getting involved in that but that's my decision though and I'm not a big fan of cancel culture as well because it also feels like we're just being more part of the problem and if you see something that's very problematic very 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 like if you see something that's racist that's offensive that is sexist misogynist if you see some content that you think that you feel like it's offensive report it please get that reported though even if it's from a big youtuber like Shane Doss from Jeffree Star or from a smaller youtuber or like Jenny69 if you find something that is problematic a video that you see is problematic though please report that Please report it though, and let's become part of a solution. And if you and if you think you see very, if you feel like there's a channel that you find problematic, leave that channel. Leave that channel. Report it. And at the end of the day, though, um, just like I did with Shalon Lester a few months ago, especially when the whole COVID thing began, though, especially realizing how problematic her behavior was and I don't know what it's like now because I haven't watched her videos ever since though but that's because I decided to and especially um I already decided you know I'm not gonna watch anymore finding all the crazy shit that he's she's done as well and I'm equal I'm an equalist I believe everyone has to be held accountable and if I did something shitty I also have to hold myself accountable as well because it doesn't so belong to particular youtubers even everyone else as well even myself as well because we're all human and we make mistakes and we all just learn from it accept things as they are and own up to it that's all we can do 
And even for me though, I do, I'm also very defensive though, and I can tell you guys, um, for me I'm very, I don't want to say difficult, but because of one, one, I'm also not perfect, and, but, if I did something wrong, I'm just gonna, I decided I'm just gonna have to own up to it, and, hey, it's not gonna be easy though, but the one thing I need to do is just own up to it, and realize, you know what, I was wrong, I was irresponsible, I was stupid. I'm going to own up to this and apologize and learn from this situation and not repeat that mistake. But unfortunately, though, we, live in a, you, we live in a culture where we value money over our own morals. And we, all have, we also have to also realize, though, that we also have to learn to control what we say and what we do. Especially here on YouTube, though, because with these whole crate with these whole strict new restrictions, though, we really need to watch what we say and think before we say anything. And even my, myself included as well, because even though um, my, I'm not like an influencer yet or anything like that, but and I think, in all honesty, though, we need to do our part as well. Let's be part of the solution. And let's create a platform, though, where hey, where it's for where like we can understand each other, we can learn from each other, but also realize though, hey, there's things going on though, and hey, I don't agree with it, but it is what it is. And I don't like saying that those four words though, but it's just a matter of how we learn to also have make sure that we think about what we're putting out there all right um all right this week though an amigo and intimo season two is also airing though and i haven't watched it yet but i'm gonna let you guys know my take on it and the drama is like love a lifetime um love in between we are all alone um are not finished yet and te doy la vida are not finished yet i'll give you guys my final thoughts on this one probably at the end of the year because then they haven't finished yet though i can't give a full of it at the moment though but that's just my thoughts about it so um i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can read different content though um also this month though um there is two more belated birthdays though and happy birthday to michelle lee and to shaka ford if you guys don't know who they are um michelle lee is karen Craigie mckenzie on knots landing and to shaka ford is gary ewing on knots landing all right, though, um, also for those who are protesting or who are, please make sure just do the best you can to make sure to wear a mask, practice social distancing, and take good care of yourselves, though. And also, though, um, let's make sure we we help out, do the best we can, sign petitions, um, do um, protests, do anything you can to help out, educate yourself, especially um, with the whole situation that's still going on, especially with Brianna, with the situation involving... Um, so many cases though and cases that have been opened up this year though and there's one that also hits home for me um who was in the same as andres guadardo and he was 18 and was also victim of police brutality brianna taylor and so many of these names that are no longer here with us as well um and also this week though that pride um pride um is going on as well and also marks the 51 years of the stonewall riots and hey, if you guys are participating in any Pride activities, or if you guys are watching any Pride content on YouTube, though, um, please go check that out, though. And hey, let's learn from each other, let's grow from each other, and let's create a community, though, where where we can all understand each other. And also, let's not be afraid to educate ourselves, know what is going on in the community. All right then. Um, also, um, this is gonna be something I said in Spanish though. Um, and also, um, I forgot to mention though that this month though marked the one year anniversary of the longest day in Chang'an, The Untamed, and Young Blood. Um, these three dramas were definitely like very were definitely another drama that I liked as well. Um, especially, I kind of was more into The Longest Day in Chang'an to be quite honest with you. And Young Blood though. And I know um, the untamed though um, 
looking back though it's been wow one year and it's definitely like one of the most popular dramas out there and it created a lot of fan bases and shout down popularity skyrocketed especially with the whole fan scandal and so many things going on but the boy he definitely like has survived and hopefully his next drama is coming soon though but also realizing though um there are good dramas out there it's just it's just seeing what what the quality means and i've already um finished i forgot to mention though i already um saw the last episode of the roman spanker rules it was a really good ending though but there could have been more to it but overall though i definitely did enjoy that drama as well um uh, and i don't want to be friends with you as well um and overall though, i'm gonna give you guys my two cents um which i already repeated already now and let you guys know what my thoughts are about it though all right um also um there's also going to be a chance though that Carla Luna's family is going to be reunited with the girls and I really hope that also happens as well so she's so many things are going on especially with Panini and Garza it's been a whole mess especially with the ex of Carla Luna's sister saying that it's terrible things I'm just like I'm just like these people cannot stop and I want to thank Jorgito Carabajal for doing a really great job though and bringing a lot of evidence a lot of proof and so much so much going on though let's give him a really big round of applause for him and his hard work um vamos a agradecer a Jorgito Carabajal productor productora Sexidan Gigi por su gran trabajo como su gran trabajo y está haciendo lo mejor para mantener esta investigación a fondo durante ese caso de Carla Luna y esperemos que hay reuniones y hay también una victoria para la familia Luna todos somos Luna y vamos a seguir adelante hay también una marcha en el mes de julio y espero que practican usan máscaras practican distanciamiento social pero mantenemos por solidaridad con la familia con Carla Luna y en la memoria de ella porque tanto que esa pareja diabólica han hecho que al final todo lo que están haciendo va a caer sobre ellos y nadie es feliz entre la tragedia de otros y al final del día cada quien quien hace mal paga mal y al final lo que hace en esta tierra termina en esta tierra lo que hicieron no, no vale madre no vale al final los dos van a van a caer y y cada cada chancho tiene su fin y esos dos son un par de chanchos y ya, ya ya no voy a decir ya más porque ya tanto que tengo ganas de decir algo pero tengo que cuidar mi boca porque si no por youtube y todo pero al final um, también si ustedes quieren ser más quieren que yo haga más contenidos en español por favor contáctame um, contáctame y pon un comentario un like y eso no um, all right guys um, I already provided an update in Spanish though that um so far um, um there's been a lot of updates though that the family of Carluna then they might be reunited but we gotta see because these two the the diabolical couple which is Kyla Panini and Americo Garza they're very they're terrible people they're very hated in Monterrey especially in Mexico they're definitely one of those people that have a horrible reputation not that they've been talking smack about her especially when that they've been dismantling the family they've been trying to bring people to threat threaten those who have who are speaking up and it's it's getting ridiculous and hopefully this all comes to an end soon all right guys um hope everyone's doing well and my apologies they haven't been around though but thankfully though things are getting a little much better again but hey even I have to work out on some things myself and we're all human and if you see something problematic please report it though all right guys um please comment like and subscribe though and if there's anything you want me to talk about like especially the whole Shane Dawson case please let me know I think Shane Dawson needs to be investigated because these past footages though may serve as proof and let's just see how this goes but then I feel like he's going to get away with it unfortunately with the system that we have but who knows I don't know what Jeffree Star's past 
shit has been exposed. And I don't know what to say about that. I'm like, just own up to it. Just, you know, because at the end of the day, though, we have to also be careful with what we watch. And if you see something problematic, like I already repeated the third time now, <laughs> report it. Alright guys, please take good care of yourself, like, comment, subscribe, and if there's anything you want to talk to me about, please make a comment, and I definitely appreciate it, good or bad, please let me know. Alright, thank you guys, and have a wonderful Sunday evening, please wear your mask, please practice social distancing if you're going out, please take good care of yourself, because this situation is getting very out of hand with COVID-19, and I already have people who are dealing with it, and having family members losing them, please take care of yourself. Take good care of yourselves because this this thing though we can only be part of the problem. And for those who don't want to wear a mask, or don't want to wear a mask. I'm like, please do because your life depends on it at this point. All right, guys, have a great night though. Please, please stay safe. Take care of yourself and have a wonderful evening.